Hi everyone, my name is Allison. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be super, super chill. I'm just sitting on the floor here and we're going to do a little H&M haul. Marianne left a comment on my last haul video, my pre-fall fashion haul, and she suggested making a video just talking about everything that I pick up from H&M and talking about the quality and stuff like that and whether or not I decide to keep it. So I thought that was a really good video idea and it just so happens that I had a package from H&M come this week. So I decided I would just try to film this and get this up as soon as I can because I know it's really hard to get your hands on certain popular pieces from H&M. I think everything that I ordered was in the new arrivals section. I'm pretty sure there were like a good amount of sizes left so hopefully that is still the case by the time this video goes up. But yeah, I will show a little screenshot of everything that I ordered. Let's just open up this box and see what we have. I will say that I am trying to order from H&M less. And I feel like I just end up returning so many things that I do order from them. But they really do have some gems here and there. So it's always exciting when I can share about those. All right, first up, it so looks like we have a blazer. So this time around, I did end up ordering everything, almost everything, in two sizes. Because I've just learned that H&M sizing really varies. It can be pretty inconsistent. And because the stock changes so quickly, it's easiest to just order everything at once. First item that we have is this blazer. This one is called the Oversized Jacket in Dark Beige. I got it in both an extra small and a small. And let me open up the extra small first. Ooh, I kind of like the fabric on this. It's definitely a little bit more of like a woven texture. I think all of the other blazers that I have have a much more of a smooth texture to the fabric. So this is kind of what the fabric looks like close. So this is what the color looks like. It actually is, I think, a little bit deeper than what it's showing up on camera. I think the light is really hitting on and reflecting on it. Um, but it is a really pretty dark beige color, like they said. It's a very nice neutral color, I would say. It definitely leans much more cool toned than say like a camel color, but it's not like too cool toned or too purpley to really call it taupe. So I really like the color actually. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but there's a couple of these little like linty pieces that are coming off the fabric. I don't know if that's just the way it's coming out of the factory or what but just something to be aware of for quality this video is definitely going to be more like first impressions type of thing sometimes i take a couple of days or weeks to really sit on a purchase and decide whether or not i truly want to keep it but yeah this is just going to be my first impressions and mostly going by the fabric and the fit so i do actually really like it upon first impression god i feel like every time i pick up this jacket there's like some stuff sticking to it but anyway i think i'm gonna go try this on in front of the mirror and we'll be right back okay so here's what the jacket is looking like on it definitely does have that more like menswear type of fit i guess it's a little bit longer um a little bit more oversized but actually not too bad the extra small definitely fits me i do think the color is actually really pretty it's a little bit lighter than i feel like how it's showing up on camera maybe i'll up the brightness a bit this blazer does have lining by the way and overall it does feel and fit pretty nice although i do actually want to try the next size up i wonder if the more oversized look will actually make it look a little bit better there's something about this look that i don't love maybe it's just not really my style i don't wear blazers too often it also has this curve right here which is really interesting i think it actually does make it look a little bit um slimmer i guess even though it is quite long and oversized i'll need to double check the price on this but i feel like it was probably around 50 dollars or so regular price but h&m always has like 15 to 20 percent off discounts so usually can get it for a little bit cheaper than that so overall i think this is a pretty good find from h&m here is the size small on me instead of the extra small and it is definitely more oversized i think personally for me i don't like to go this oversized it's definitely really long like it goes pretty low on my thighs and as a petite person i don't find that to be particularly flattering i'm five foot three by the way this one it didn't seem to have as much of like a lint problem after i took it out of the bag and the structure does feel pretty good in general so yeah i think i will consider keeping the extra small but this isn't like a must-have for me okay next up we have 
this cardigan and I ordered it in an extra small. This color definitely seems like it's a little bit hard to photograph. It's not really showing up quite as green I think on camera and it definitely looked pretty gray online in the photos but I know this cardigan comes in two different colors. I actually did order the cream colored one a couple of weeks ago. I was waiting for it to come back in stock in a size extra small and I finally snagged one and then I saw that they released it in another color so I decided to pick this one up because I was a little bit on the fence about the cream one. In person I would kind of describe this as like a muted light pistachio color. It is really pretty. Okay so this cardigan it's described as a light sage green and the regular price on this is $34.99 and the blazer that I just showed was $49.99 regular price. So, okay, so the material composition for this is 63% acrylic, 32% polyamide, and 5% wool. I wonder if the bit of wool is driving the price up a bit because it is definitely like a pretty thin sweater. The other cardigan that I recently picked up from H&M is like one that they keep bringing back in multiple colors. It's like the chunky ribbed cardigan. That one has um, a cotton blend to it and I think it's only like $20 so it was super affordable and I do feel like the value of it feels higher. This one does feel nice and soft and I do really like the boxy fit of it. I did get this in an extra small because I did like the cropped fit of it a little bit better but let me try this on and I'll get my thoughts together. Okay here is what the cardigan looks like on looks a little funny over my collared shirt underneath i'll have to double check the other one that i have but the sleeves on this cardigan are so long i don't actually remember that being the case on the cream colored one and i think overall this cardigan is cute i really do like the boxier shape of it and the fact that the knit isn't super super chunky the texture of the material feels really comfortable on the skin it doesn't feel particularly cheap but i do think there's something about this cardigan that does feel a little bit on the cheaper side to me. I keep going back to like the thickness of it. I think if it were a little bit thicker, it would just be more plush and cozy and maybe even a drape a little bit better as a boxy cardigan. As you can see here, it really just kind of like flows down and doesn't really maintain its shape particularly well. So yeah, that's just actually me being really picky. On first impressions, I actually did really like this cardigan, but I found an alternative one from Oaken for it that I actually liked a lot more. I'll try on the cream color version of this cardigan just so you can see it if you're interested and then I'll show the Oaken for it one for comparison. Okay so here is the lighter colored one on and this one is pretty much sold out on the H&M website but if you keep checking I'm sure it'll come in and out of stock. Um, I do actually like the color of this one a little bit better. You can kind of see that the knit has a little bit more of like a heathered texture to it and i think that looks really cute and cozy and the fit of this one is definitely smaller than the other extra small the sleeves aren't nearly as long and i think it might be a little bit more cropped as well if you're on a budget and you're looking for something like this it's honestly a really cute option but just going back to the same thing i'm just not like a hundred percent satisfied with the look and the the feel of the cardigan and just for personal preference i would rather pay more money and just get something that I'm 100% satisfied with. So just to hopefully help illustrate my point, this is the cardigan that I found from Oakenfort. They have pretty much the exact same style. They're both like a slightly cropped boxy cardigan and that has buttons down the center and then these little side pockets here. This one is a little bit more oversized and again, it doesn't look the best paired with this current outfit, but I do just really like this cardigan a lot more. It definitely has a thicker, more plush knit texture to it. This one actually has a little bit more of like a fuzzy texture to it. So it's super cozy. It does hold its shape a little bit more. I also really love this light camel color. I feel like a little teddy bear. And yeah, I don't need like multiple versions of a boxy cardigan like this. So this is the one that I'm keeping, but the H&M ones are also options for you to consider. Okay, next let's finish up the tops. I did order a, another collared sweater. I'm also still obsessed with like dusty sage green colors. Last year I realized that the color didn't look very good on me, but now that my hair is lighter, I think it actually works better. So again, picked it up in an extra small and a small because sometimes you want things to be a little bit more oversized, sometimes you don't. I think this might be like a three quarter sleeve length, but they kind of balloon out a little bit and then they're gathered at the end. Right off the bat, the fabric feels like a typical 
affordable H&M knit. Like it's not the best quality. It does feel pretty similar to the cardigans actually, but I think like a thinner knit texture does work better on a shirt than a cardigan. I'll show you this color compared to the cardigan right here. The cardigan has a little bit more of like a yellow green color, whereas this one is a little bit more on the bluish gray side. Here is the collared sweater on and right off the bat, I'm pretty sure that I don't need to go up to the size small. The extra small is like plenty boxy and the sleeves are supposed to be cropped I think so I think it's fine. It definitely has more of like a voluminous boxy shape to this sweater. It's not very like slim cut at all but I think I kind of like it. I'm a little undecided about how wide everything is including the sleeves but I think like even with this necklace, it looks really pretty. I'm a sucker for the collars and I do think the collar looks really nice on. One thing though is that the fabric does actually feel kind of itchy. Oh, it does have 14% wool in this knit. It doesn't look too bad untucked, but I think this one is definitely more of a flattering look when you tuck it in. So yeah, as for the fit and the style, I definitely really like this one. I might have to think about if this fabric is going to be too uncomfortable, but I would recommend this top. Lastly, I have two pair of bottoms to show. One is a pair of pants and the other is actually a pair of jeans. So these are called the pull-on dress pants. They're in dark beige and they retail for $29.99. I got mine in a size extra small. I'm not sure. I think maybe the size small was out of stock. Otherwise, I probably would have ordered both. This is actually the same color as the blazer. So I saw these worn as a set online and it looked pretty cute. I don't actually know if I love how this fabric feels without any lining. It feels a little bit thin and cheap, but we're gonna try it on anyway. These pants actually fit pretty sticking well. They're like a little bit tighter than what I would prefer for comfort's sake, but they fit around the waist they actually don't need to be hemmed, which is kind of shocking. The pockets are lined with kind of like a satin type of material, so it feels kind of nice. It has this kind of sewn in seam going down the center, which I'm not sure how much I like on these pants, but overall I do like the color and the cut of it. Definitely a sucker for like some wide leg full length pants lately. I have a 25 inch waist and these fit pretty nice and snug on me. Sometimes I have an issue with the waist being too tight and then the size small is too big on me, but these actually fit pretty well. And then let me throw on the blazer so you guys can see the full set. <laughs> okay, here is what the full set looks like. And I just realized that the blazer does actually have a little bit of padding in the shoulders. It's nothing too crazy and I think it gives it a nice bit of structure. But yeah, here's the whole set on. I would definitely never wear it out like this i just this isn't really my style but it is kind of cool i'm a little torn on this set i don't know how much wear i would get out of each piece separately and how much i actually do like this fabric but let me know in the comments what you think should i keep the blazer should i keep the pants i don't know okay last piece of this haul is a pair of jeans these are called the straight high jeans online and the tag on this pair actually says 90s straight jeans. I don't totally remember what the photo looked like online, but I think I bought these because they had a little slit at the hem. I didn't realize these jeans were from the divided line. I usually try to stay away from that line because the quality tends to be a little bit lower. It's more geared towards a younger audience, I think. So the straight high jeans are $34.99. I got them in a size 4. They're 99% cotton, 1% elastane. They look like they have a nice high waist. And then they do have a little slit at the end. So let's try these on. Okay, here are the jeans on. And I'm actually kind of surprised. They're a little bit big on me. Um, I feel like I could make them work around the waist. But I don't really like it when it's super baggy on the hips and the crotch area. You just end up with like the weird like diaper creases. Lengthwise, they aren't too long on me. I feel like they would work fine worn with some sneakers and boots. So that is actually a pleasant surprise. Like I said, I'm only five foot three. I did get one pair of jeans from H&M last year, but I really haven't worn them enough to like call them a favorite. I don't think 
H&M is my favorite place to get jeans in general, but I definitely think it's possible to find a nice pair from them. I know the baggy jean look is in, but I still think a size down would look better in these on me. The material itself feels fine. It's like a pretty thick, rigid denim, so I don't really have any complaints about that. The wash isn't my favorite. I feel like it does look a little bit cheap in some areas, but honestly, not too bad for pair of $35 jeans. I feel like this is another item where I could keep them. They're not a bad option, but I'm definitely not 100% in love on them. And I feel like a solid pair of like baggy jeans that I can wear all the time is something worth spending a little bit more on. My main camera ran out of battery, so I'm just gonna quickly wrap up this video on my vlogging camera. But that is it for this quick little H&M haul. I feel like this is pretty standard for me. I honestly don't think there were any huge standout products this time around. The only item that I think I would be most likely to keep is the green collared sweater. I feel like it's just like a nice cute sweater to add to my like collar top collection. But other than that, I wasn't super in love with the pieces. I still have found some really awesome options from H&M, but it does just take a lot more trial and error and digging. So even though it can get really tempting to just buy a ton of things from H&M because the prices are pretty low. I do think it takes a lot of time and effort to just really like keep up with everything and you end up placing so many orders as new stuff comes in. So at this point in my life, I would sometimes rather shop at other places to find options that might be a little bit more reliable. So yeah, just putting that out there. Hopefully this video was helpful if you were interested in any of these particular items. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Bye!